Tinapay mula sa langit A Daily Morning Devotion with CRC Family Kamu sa Panginoon, pwede na natin pasahin ang Isaiah chapter 7 bagamat Chapter 9, I mean, nadudoon yung mission ng pagkakaparito ng Panginoon. Pero sa Isaiah chapter 7, the first mention of the name of Jesus, I mean, the name of uh, our Lord, which is Emmanuel. Let's all stand and let us read Isaiah chapter 7, beginning from verse 10 to verse 17. Sa NLT version yung Pasayin na rin natin na alternately responsive reading. Later, The Lord sent this message to King Ahaz, 12. But the king refused. No, he said, I will not test the Lord like that. All right then, the Lord himself will give you the sign. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. For before the child is that old, the lands of the two kings you fear so much will both be deserted. Then the Lord will bring things on you, your nation and your family. Unlike anything since Israel broke away from Judah, he will bring the king of Assyria upon you. May God bless the reading of His Word. This is the title of our message, Christ is God's gift to human race. Christmas is God's gift to human race. And our theme is, God loves the world and He does not want anyone to miss heaven and go to hell. Christ is the Lord of Christmas. Christmas ang uh, the word. Christmas. Pangmasa si Christ. Ibig sabihin, is a celebration of Christ's nativity as an introduction. God has used several prophets to tell His people, Israel, about the coming of His only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who will be the Messiah of the world. Sa Psalm, meron. Genesis meron, kay Hosea meron, Micah meron, Isaiah, Jeremiah, sa Psalms, David nag-prophesy din about the coming of the Messiah. So these are the prophets. David was not a prophet pero writer siya ng Psalms. But I mean, almost one-third, 50 plus of the book of Psalms, hindi chapters ha, inuulit ko, hindi chapters yun. Numbers, one to number 50 Psalms. More than, I think, 53 or 54 of those psalms were written by King David. Okay, Kalachon. One of the famous psalms of David was Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. And Psalm 23. Okay, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Ilan doon sa psalms niya, kinote ng Panginoon. And referring to His coming sa kanyang pagparito sa lupa, the Messiah. Pero the first Name Emmanuel that was written. First time na nabanggit sa Bible, it was Isaiah, the prophet, who mentioned about his name in chapter 7, verse 14. Messiah is known sa Israel as referred to only one. Wala nang ibang Messiah. Eh ngayon, maraming nagpapanggap na Messiah. Sabi ng Panginoon, there will come a time, sabi ngayon, darating ang panahon na maraming magpapanggap na Kristo, Christ ang ginamit niya. Because Christ in Hebrew is Messiah. Kaya naghihintay ang mga Hudyo hanggang ngayon. Kaya walang Christmas ang mga Hudyo eh. Pure Jews, itong mga Hudyo na ito na hindi na born again, they have no Christmas. Maliwala sa kanila yon. They don't celebrate Christmas at all. Pero kapag na born again yung Hudyo, maganda yon. They accepted the Messiah. Kaya ang tawag nila sa kanilang grupo, yung mga naborn again, Messianic Jews. Okay? Messianic Jews. Tinanggap na nila ang dumating na Messiah. Kasi nung pumunta ang Panginoon dito, He was a rejected Messiah. Rejected King. Kaya nga, nung sabi ni Pontius Pilate, 
Behold your king. Sabi ng mga Hudyo, we don't have king but only Caesar. You see, Jesus was rejected king. He was rejected. Kaya hanggang ngayon, naghihintay pa sila ng Messiah. Pero sabi na Isaiah, darating ang Emmanuel. So hindi ginamit ang Messiah. Kaya may conflict doon sa understanding ng mga Parisis, mga Sadducees, and other law interpreters at the time of the Lord Jesus on earth. Hindi nila kayang tumbukin na yung Messiah na yung kausap nila. Kaya sila rin may mga sayad. May sayad din ang mga Pariseo, Saduceo, religious leaders because they did not accept Jesus as the Messiah. Kaya sa Hebrew, ang Messiah ay siya yung tutubos, aahon, at isusugo ng Ama sa Langit para iligtas ang Israel. Pero may other word for Messiah. That is, Yoshua. Kasi nagsabing isin ang hawi, kaya ang atawa ko Diyos sa Israel ay mga separatists. Kasi nagkawa sa mga sabi nila ang hawi, una mga isin David, Solomon. Then after Solomon, nahati na yung kingdom. So, Judah, hindi nagbago ang pakalan, kingdom of Judah. Sa itaas ay northern kingdom, which is the kingdom of Israel. Eh, mga liko, ang hari ko, eh, gusto lang pang loong maging kongan ng Juda, ang ipakita niya sa kanyang papapaya para may balik ang Israel na isang bansa na sila. Yung ang mga kinulog sa palangin ng Diyos. Pero, tinan nyo, ang option ng mga tao, pero nung dumating ang Panginoon sa lupa, sa Mr. John sila, dahil ang The Roman Emperor na sila. At saka, umalik ang Juda from Babylonia ng activity, pagkakapiyak sa Babylonia, sa panitong Northern Kingdom, Masok na naman ang pananakot na bansa hanggang sila ay magiging isang bansa. Ngayon, isang bansa na lang sila. Si God restored the king of Israel. Israel na siya ngayon, wala nang Judah. So historically, during the time of Prophet Messiah and uh, Jeremiah and the minor prophets from Hosea to Malachi, God was speaking to two kingdoms. Pero pagdating ang Panginoon, isang bansa na lang sila. Wala nang nagkakari sa itaas. personality of the Lord Jesus. Yung Isaiah chapter 9, beginning from verse 6 to 7. Yun yung mission niya. Yun ang messianic mission, tawag doon. Dito sa verse 14 ng chapter 7 is Emmanuel. God wants to deal with His people by dwelling with them in the midst of their life. Sa gitna ng kalambuhay, as a nation, gusto ng Panginoon, lagi siyang kasama. 